Hello guys, today I want to quickly demonstrate you a package called Laravel API Response Helpers. Quite popular already with almost 500 stars by F9 Web Limited from UK and it allows you to simplify the repeating responses from the APIs. So instead of doing response JSON and providing your status codes, you can use helpers from their trade. So let's see how it looks. For example, you have an API controller with response JSON. This is actually a pretty untypical and overcomplicated example because that would return the same like this. So Laravel does a lot of magic for you to return the same thing. But imagine any response with any status. And if we launch something like that in Postman, we have three users with status code 200, everything is cool. But what if you have another method like, I don't know, list or whatever with some other user where something some condition, then get, and then if at some point you decide to change the structure, you need to change that in all of the methods. Instead, we can do use API response helpers from that package. I already installed that behind the scenes with composer require. And then instead of response JSON, we can do this respond with success and whatever data you want. So this looks a bit shorter, right? And it's not about shortness only, it's about standard responses throughout all the projects so you wouldn't return different status codes unintentionally in different controllers from different endpoints, especially if you're working in a bigger team and maybe new developers don't know what are the standards, what they should return. So if we do that and we launch that in Postman, and of course I forgot that it should be return like this. So it's not even shorter, actually. I lied to you kind of a minute ago. So it's almost the same in terms of length offline. So it's more about standardization. And let's take a look what other methods there are in the package. So you can use or standardize respond not found, respond with success, respond OK, which would just return a string respond unauthenticated 401, forbidden 403, respond some error, created no content, and also interesting thing, set default success response. Some front-end clients expect from the API something like success equals true. And when I was talking about standardization, this is the paragraph that summarizes that. Motivation. So to avoid this hell, so different responses from different API endpoints, this package could be and should be used, especially, as I said, in a bigger team with a lot of API endpoints. What do you think? Have you used this package or maybe you have other ways how you standardize the API responses throughout all the project, shoot in the comments below and let's discuss. And if you want to see a step-by-step -step example of creating Laravel API, recently I released a course trilogy, three courses. So first, build the Laravel API for parking app, for car parking app, and then two clients for that separately course, Vue.js 3 for that Laravel API and then React for that Laravel API. So all three could be found at laraveldaily.com so you can subscribe to the membership yearly or monthly and get all the courses and everything else that you see on the screen. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.